All right. It's Monday. Uh, wait, let me check. Yes, we are recording. Okay, good. Hi. What a week. Who knew? I mean, everyone kind of knew and probably expected. But, eh, I think I'll talk about that maybe on Wednesday. But, Monday's upon us. That means we're doing another state, and you may have thought it was Minnesota, but there is a letter that comes before, and actually there's a couple of them. But as far as uh, alphabetically by state for the U.S., there is at least one letter that comes before the N when it comes to MI states. We're doing that one right now. It is Michigan. Wonderful little old Michigan. You got yourself here, the states. We're going to zoom in super quick on this very weird looking state. <clears throat> it's the, what do they call it? Um, the state has the longest freshwater coastline of any political subdivision in the world. What a super, like, granular thing to uh, brag about. Like, you need a thing to make your state stand out. And that's Michigan's. We're the subcategory of a subcategory, subcategory, biggest in the world. I mean, it's got a bunch of other stuff going for it. It's, it's, it's a weird state. Um, personally, never been to it. I might have flown over it, but Little League Park. Well, it's going to look like this for a while. Corona! <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll worry about that. Or maybe blabble on about that on Wednesday if you want to hear some guy who just does these videos in this tone give his non-opinion on it. I can do that Wednesday. But here we are, focusing on the now, which is wherever the fuck this is in Michigan. I don't know. I want to see if I can get out to a main street, or at least a larger road, so I can maybe figure out where we are. And then I can get into, like, the ins and outs of the state, so to speak. That looks to be a, oh, it's car grill. I don't know what's, this is not Michigan. No, it is Michigan. This is not, like, bridge to... I wish I was closer. Bridge to Bay Trail. Okay. Oh, here we are. Michigan 29. That is their route sign, I think. Maybe we're right around here. But I'm not getting, like, route signs here <clears throat> other than these ones. So, mayhap. We're not in the Upper Peninsula, although there is 28. So now I think it might be. I have a minute left. Going towards the uh, border here. Sorry if I'm not, like, doing normal introduction. I just want to see if I can nail this one, so to speak. Yeah, I see a 27. I don't see 29 anywhere. 22? 23? Where the fuck is this? This is annoying. Man, I wanted this to be a little bit better of an intro, but I can't because I'm too focused on actually getting a good score here. I feel like 29 is like a offshoot of maybe another... Um, like a combination of another road. We got a vape bar. Kill me now. St. Clair Highway. We're like up here. We gotta be. I'm just gonna put us here. St. Clair. We gotta be up here. The fuck is... It's got... Is it like... <clears throat> I'm gonna be so mad. Here in one second. All the way down here. Well, 
St. Clair. Fucking God damn it. Kept thinking that that was on the border with the United States and Canada. I need a drink. What an entry to me doing this. All right, so 27 points. Let us continue with some introductions as this kid is defending his home with his bat. And there's a tire in the ditch there. Michigan. The uh, Great Lake. The Great Lake state wolverine state the mitten state and uh if you're not really understanding why it's called that this kind of looks like a mitten that's why it's called the mitten state it's also called the water and in parentheses winter wonderland its motto is dumb if you seek a pleasant peninsula look about you all the great minds of michigan at all times could not come up with a better line than just being like Fuck, I don't know. Look around you. That's great. And everyone got pats in the back and went back home. It is the 26th state to become uh, a state in the U.S. on January 26, 1837. Its capital is not Detroit. It's not Ann Arbor. It's not Grand Rapids. It's Lansing. Another one of those states with a capital no one gives a shit about as far as population and centers for like commerce and whatnot. Lemon Creek Road. That does not help me. Maybe a root sign will. Hopefully one of these has it on it. Um, Michigan's an interesting state for many a reason. You can adopt a highway here. Um, it's one of the only states that has like a weird, weird bits that aren't connected. Um, home of Americans, uh, America's birthplace of the American auto industry, you could say. Junction of Route 31, which is over here. And Route 31 is a long chunk of road, so this doesn't help me just yet. I don't want to get off Holland. Uh, let's take a look at what this says. Right here. South Bend, Indiana. Which is down here. So, Holland. It's going to be a little closer into here. Did I see a Nile somewhere? I don't think I did. Oh. I'm going to say we're here just for now. Although we're heading south on this, we're actually going to be up here. Looking for a Holland. Holland? Berrien Springs? No. Uh, amount of smidge. Yeah, we're maybe like up here. Hopefully I can... Why does it keep jumping me around? I hate that. We're on the intersection of South 30, so maybe I should get... Um... Maybe I should actually get off, get on one of these roads here. No, this is a parking lot. That is not what I want. Pretty cheapish gas, I, I'd say. I don't want to be there either. I want to be here. I'm trying just to see if I can't get, <clears throat> like, uh, a exit and entrance ramp to uh, know where we are. Although it doesn't look like there's a... Uh, on ramp on one half of the highway here. So we're going to back up a smidge and just go to these signs here to hopefully get a little look see here as to where we are. Berrien Springs, 139 South. Berrien Center. I ran out of time. I was getting that down. It is the 11th largest state by area at 96,000 square miles. Its highest elevation apparently is 900. No, no, that's the wrong thing. Highest elevation is 1,979 feet. Mount Arvon Lois is Lake Erie at 571 feet. It's a pretty flat state. I thought there'd be a bit more mountains, but I don't know, maybe it's just a chunk of flat plain here. It's surrounded by almost all of the Great Lakes minus Lake Ontario because you got to count 
the upper peninsula here. Uh, this part is called the UP. Uh, short for upper peninsula. UPs. Y O O P I E. You, if you ever want to try to uh, um, sound like you're in the know, there is a bit of vernacular with upper peninsula English. And looking at the um, uh, Wikipedia page for it, they talk about replacing ing at the end of words with een instead of doing becomes doing. Happening is happening, something. Uh, there's a lot of um, uh, Scandinavian, because you also have Minnesota and Wisconsin up here. Some of it also bled into here. A lot of up here in the northern peninsula is a lot of like uh, mining, copper mines up here, uh, a lot of forests, lots of water. Uh, I flew over Lake Michigan, or near it once, and it was crazy. Because not seeing a uh, body of water that huge in my entire life, I mean, I did see the ocean. But you don't get so much of a sense of scale of that when you're, because it's the ocean, you know it's big. But when you get to a lake, it's like, lakes aren't that fucking big. All the ones that I was around as a kid, I could see the other side very easily. Um, this one, like the same thing when I saw Salt Lake and I went, holy shit, that's, uh, that's crazy how huge that is. This is no different. It's a massive body of water. One of the first points of trade and commerce when you talk about Chicago and Illinois, because you had all of this dumping all their goods either through Chicago or down the Mississippi through Nolens. And then from Chicago, it would go through the lakes, out some lock systems, and out this way, and then off to uh, ports abroad. It's a uh, where the automotion, automotive, uh, Oldsmobile, General Motors, Ford, all of those American car companies you think about, they all started in Detroit. Uh, it was huge in the... Like, when you think about, like, the, the heydays of Michigan it was or Detroit, it was probably around the 50s, 60s, 70s, and then started to taper off in the 80s with the introduction of cheaper, sometimes arguably better, and sometimes not arguably. It was just definitively better um, Asian and other foreign auto cars. And eventually led to the... Uh, I don't know what the word, the gutting, I guess you could say, of uh, Michigan and, or Detroit. When, if you've ever seen documentaries and they talk about what Detroit looked like, probably from the late 90s on through maybe about five, ten years ago, of just being like blocks and blocks and blocks of just either no houses, demolished buildings, empty lots. It was, it was a weird. One of those things, if you ever uh, see a, uh, if humans never existed or went away, one of those type of things, I'm never going to find this place. It's, it's one of these tiny places, and I don't think I'm going to find a, uh, hey, I do like Bad Axe, that's a good name. I don't think I'm going to find, like, any roots or anything that's going to tell me where this is in the amount of time I have left. Lakefield Township Recycle Wasted Trash is Wasted Cash. Good line. So I'm just clicking a spot hoping I'm maybe going to get there, but I'm unless I see a root sign and I happen to catch it in time, this is going to be another awful score I'm going to get unless I got lucky. But um it was pretty bizarre seeing it. Oh, anyway, sorry about the, uh, if humans didn't exist. I think a lot of that show actually kind of got recorded or taped around Detroit or other abandoned locales such as that. It was pretty strange to see. Um, you hear about roving bands of people who would just go into the houses, yank all the copper out, or... You could buy a house for, I think it was like as little as 50 bucks after the housing 
prices for or the 2008 financial shit. Um, yeah. Uh, event. Yeah. See, there was, there was no way I was going to see that in time. I just happened to catch it there. there it wasn't going to happen. And yeah, it became just kind of like a Bay Party store. Groceries, okay, that doesn't help me. But of a joke of a lot of everybody kind of just, okay, we are definitely on one of the chunks of water. Too bad it's got such coastline that's not going to help me. Of just Detroit just being this rust belt of nothingness. Michigan State Police, well, that doesn't help me. Unless I can get over there and maybe see, like, the district. It's District 3. That doesn't help me. But then it just kind of became a, uh, Tawas Bay. Is there a Tawas Bay that maybe I can see? I doubt it. Saginaw Bay. Thunder Bay. Thunder Bay. I just like saying that. Um, and they really push for like a revital revitalization of, uh, there's got, I don't feel this is going to be a good enough thing of my time to Tawas. I, it's got to be a thing. Use of my time trying to find a bay. Um, and people started investing more into downtown Detroit, and a lot of it had to do with, I think, one guy. Um, the guy who owns Quicken, or at least his company, because there's a lot of, like, sports arenas. They're called, like, Quicken Arena. There's Quicken has, like, a huge uh, presence all around the state, where it, or at least that city, where it's just kind of like, yeah, you're doing a great job, but really it's one guy or one company kind of owns this much of a uh, owns this much of a city. It's just kind of a little unsettling. Yeah, this feels like I'm never going to find whatever this bay, Tawas Bay. A lot of these are questionable when you call a bay, but they need to call things things. And I got a minute left, and I need to find better use, better info. And there's been a bit of a resurgence, like I said. It's a uh, not completely recovering, but they're trying. You know, there's the whole hipster thing, the regentrification, because rent's so expensive everywhere. The only things you can afford are super cheap places. And when enough people start going back to these places, they end up actually revitalizing the comp the economy and the whole cycle starts again. So I, it, it says Tawas, but oh, South 23. I know where 23 is. All right, so I have something to go off of Tawas Bay. I finally got it. We're gonna hit home. Okay, here, Bay Party and China Buffet. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm going to see this in time. Tony's Tacos. And it's still a kind of a work in progress. You can, while maybe downtown Detroit might be a, a focus, there's a lot of the uh, cities around uh, Detroit that are bad, if not worse. Like, uh, oh, it, it's definitely clear enough out here. You think about, uh, I guess you can call them, boroughs of Detroit at this point. Um, you've also got, why can't I think of the name of it now? Flint has a huge issue now with the water in Flint, Michigan, being contaminated. Has been for years. And if you want to go get depressed after watching this, uh, either watch or look up anything on the Flint water crisis. It's still going on. Um, a lot of poverty around the uh, around in Michigan here at least with like Flint um uh you got Pontiac I forget exactly what it is there was a uh a uh, couple of college sports teams around here too University of Michigan you got Michigan State 
Uh, as a kid, I was a University of Michigan Wolverine fan. Just because they looked cool. And I always saw them on TV because they, they, if it wasn't Notre Dame on TV, it was Michigan or anybody else. NBC always had those football games on. A couple of sports teams in Chicago. Why do I keep saying Chicago? Michigan, you've got, excuse me. Um, I'm not going to be able to name them all because my memory and knowledge of all the sports teams, even if it is your favorite one, I'm going to forget one. Uh, you got the Detroit Red Wings, pretty vaunted NHL uh, franchise. Been around for a long time. If I remember right, they were the part of the original six in the uh, NHL. You got the Detroit Tigers for baseball. The football, you got the Detroit Lions. Who, uh, I'm sorry, if you're a Detroit Lions fan, that's the best I can say. Because there's one thing of being continuously bad, and they have been for a long time. But the second worst thing is when you try, actually it's almost arguable, it could be worse, that you actually try and you just never do. Like, you may do third or fourth best in the entire league, but they just keep hyping it up and making you very excited. They're like, no, we're actually going to do well this year. Pine Creek Road. This is fall in northern America. Probably late October, if not November, because you've got still some leaves in the tree. Granted, there are some types of trees that just kind of either have a hard time or just never do end up getting, wow, my score is terrible. Never actually end up getting rid of all their leaves. They kind of just get stuck there. And just how it happens. These are some weird looking dead plants that just, the light hits it bad, so it looks like horribly pixelated imagery. Uh, I might have said this before, but I feel like this is a picture I could smell having to drive on conditions exactly similar to this before in my life. Where it's, I'm going to say, getting close to dusk. Not that cold out. You got a, like a fleece or a sweatshirt on. You got the window down because it is cool but not cold. Where having the wind hit you as you drive down the road does not, it, it's cold but it's not uncomfortable. You're, you're kind of like, I kind of like the way this feels. You know, if it was maybe three, five degrees colder, you're like, okay, this is a bit chilly. I can't do this. I'm not seeing anything. I feel like I'm seeing littering signs everywhere. I think that's what it says is like caution. Manistee Township. I want to say we're up here just to say we have a uh, UP. Um, contingency here, but I'm I'm very sure I'm not going to uh, get any other information on this road. It's just going to be this long strip of road forever. A lot of for sale signs. It looks like Coldwell Banker Real Estate. If you want, you can call two three one. Well, you can A I M Realty and Associates. If you want to. Uh, any other thing I want to do real quick before the video ends? Um, I don't think so. I never ran out of time. Yeah, that was I was going to get an awful score because there wasn't anything on this road that was going to help me or tell me anything at all. So I was fine with that. Pretty atrocious score this time. But what are you going to do? Michigan is Michigan. I don't really have any words to say about it one way or another. Interesting place. I've always wanted, I've been, I guess, kind of talked into going. See, if anything, up here in the Upper Peninsula, I would like to go here just to, again, actually try to have it sink in and register in my brain how actual big these bodies of water are, because it's just still very hard for me to actually grasp that concept. Having not been Having not grown up really around massive bodies of water, just not used to it. But that's going to do it for a Monday. 
I'd like to thank you all again for watching and putting up with this series. If you do have any other comments, questions, concerns, complaints, ideas, suggestions, thoughts, anything at all, could be this game related, it could be any game related, it could be anything related, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Wednesday will be here. Um, hopefully you are too. What is this? Cool. I like that. It's like an eyeball. Come back on Wednesday for some more guessing geography with me. I'll be here. Hopefully you will be too. Fingers crossed. <laughs>